Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a C++ program to check the number entered by the user is a positive number or a negative number or a zero. Here in this program, we will ask the user to enter the number. We will store it in a variable and then we will use the if else conditional statement and we will check whether the number is positive, negative or zero. And then we will display the appropriate message. So here I have already written some code. I have included the iostream header file to this program so that we can use the features like uh, C and C out. And then here we are stating that we will be using the features defined inside the system namespace. And then here we have the main function, which is the entry point of our program from our perspective. So the first thing that we do here is we will declare the variables that we need. The first variable that we need is for storing the number entered by the user. I'm going to take integer type of variable and I'm going to call it as number. Now, the next thing that we have to do is uh, we have to ask the user to enter the number. So I'm going to use the C out in here and I'm going to specify the message as enter the number. And then I'm going to end this line so that whatever we do next will appear in the next line. Uh, after seeing this message, the user is going to enter the number and we will uh, read that by using C in and we will store that in this number variable. OK, now we have the number that has been entered by the user. Now let us check whether it is positive, negative or zero. So here we will be using the if else conditional statement. So we will use the if and the first condition that we check is we will check whether the number entered by the user is a positive number. So we have to check whether this number variable is containing a value which is greater than zero. In that case, it means that the number is a positive number. So we will display that to the screen. So I'm going to use a C out in here and here I will first insert the number variables value and then I'm going to insert a string value stating that um, is a positive number. Now this is for the number you know which is positive now if the number is not greater than zero if it is not a positive number then um, it means that the number can be a negative number or it is zero so now we have to check whether the number is a negative number so if the number is not a positive number then we will check whether it is negative or not so we will use the else if and here the condition will be whether this number variable is containing a value which is less than zero. In that case, it means that the number entered by the user is a negative number. So I'm going to display that message in here and I'm going to say negative number. Now, if the number entered by the user is not a positive number and it is also not a negative number, then it means that the number entered by the user is zero. So we will have that in this else part and then uh, we will display the message here stating that number is zero. OK. So here first we are checking whether the number is greater than zero. If it is so, then we will display this message. And uh, if the number is greater than zero, if it is a positive number, then these things will not be checked and executed. If the number is not greater than zero, if it is not a positive number, then this else if condition is checked whether number is negative number or not. If the number is negative number, then this C out statement will be executed and this will be uh, ignored. It will not be executed. If the number is not a positive number and if it is not a negative number, then only this else part will be executed. So now here we have written the program. Let's run this enter the number. I'm going to enter four. It says four is a positive number. OK, I'm going to close it and I'm going to run it one more time. And this time I'm going to enter zero. It says zero is zero. OK, let's close that and let's run it one more time. And this time I'm going to enter a negative number. Let's say negative six. It says negative six is a negative number. So 
This is how we can write this simple C++ program to check whether the number entered by the user is a positive number or a negative number or a zero. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.